And Five, welcome back four, to another edition of three, the Yodel Cast. Two, we are currently five. on map 3 between Area 51 and Icarus. Uh, map 2 was not casted as I was fulfilling a special request, but it was Dry Dock, and Icarus took it 4-2 to two in uh, somewhat of a blowout of a game, although the scoreline doesn't exactly show it. So, here we are on Arx Novena, and I'm just going to do a quick roster rundown here. For Blood Eagle, or Team Icarus, we have Kilar, Elixir, Vector, Eco, Zepto, Kevin, and Mavi. And for Area 51 on Diamond Sword, we have Tailspin, Vash, Eric, Zoid, Bergenstein, Blinks, Reddish, Blue, and Titan. Uh, the map's already started, we're about 30 seconds into it, and there hasn't really been anything of note. A couple of grabs, but no one really got anywhere, and you saw Zoid there just tried to make a grab, but got Nitron, and the flag's just down there in the field. And gets quick return there by Mavi. Um... This is one of Area 51's stronger maps, so I do expect them to do fairly well on it. Uh, on the other hand, I don't remember how Icarus did the last time they faced off, so it's entirely possible they've improved and could give Area 51 a run for their money. Uh, Area 51 has been practicing a little bit of a punt strategy recently, so I'm very curious to see whether they're going to stick to their traditional style or whether they're going to work on uh, doing their punts. But uh, for now, we're actually going to watch Vector here. See see how he does things. Uh, Tailspin's already spotted him, which is going to be a recurring thing, theme throughout this map. The question is, can Tailspin hit him? He already did there, and he's down to about 300 health already before even grabbing the flag. He misses the flag. Wow, that's rare that you see Vector do that one. Um, but he would have been away cleanly with a little bit of health. Zoid, on the other hand, does manage to get a grab out with only 11 health left. There's no way he's going to survive that. does get chained down by Mavi. Wouldn't have minded seeing a punt there. He did know he was pretty low. Reddish Blue is coming in here for the pickup. Oh, it gets popped away from him, though. And still being popped away. It's Elixir there. Uh, they're going to go for a little bit of a duel. Oh, and the Jackal? No, Arxbuster. Uh, Kevin, in the meantime, did manage to get a grab off. Got completely away and makes it 1-0. My apologies for not uh, catching that. I was a little caught up in the fact that that may have been the Jackal, but fortunately it was just the Arxbuster. So we do have a quick 1-0 there for Icarus. Only two and a half minutes into the game, so it'll be very interesting to see how Area 51 responds. I haven't seen any of their prime offense here. Brick's just sort of chilling over here instead of doing the distracting that he normally does. He's also in Pathfinder, which is interesting. He does look like he's going to be uh, going after Zepto, mostly. Gets a little bolt launcher off there. Is just trying to harass him and keep him busy while Zoid gets his runoff, so we're actually going to watch... Ugh. We were going to watch Zoid until nature interfered. Uh, Kevin is coming in here, though, for a little bit of an attempted grab. He does push Titan away pretty far. Titan's not playing his traditional Hoff, so Kevin is getting out with about 300 health. Zoid does respond to the grab of his own. There are three people there for Area 51 now, only two. Kevin is down to about 250 health. A couple chain gun fire going in there. He does fall. Elixir's there to try and make the pickup. Misses the... Oh! Misses the grab and then gets taken out by the Arcs Buster. Zoid, on the other hand, was waiting on the flag stand. Did manage to get the cap off. A little bit of a late attempted E-grab there by the Heavy, but uh, too little too late. So we do have a tie game 1-1, one to one. and Area 51 was ready there to grab the flag as a chain grab, and they were going to try and work out a little bit of punting there. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out as they planned, and the flag was promptly returned. But uh, a good, strong response there from Area 51, showing they're not going to be pushed over on this map, and that they're ready to play. And we're watching Brick here, going along the outside. It does look like his prime goal in this is to get to Zepto unnoticed and deal with him. Zepto has noticed him. Zepto's actually using the face rifle, which means he can't actually chase all that well, which is really good for Brick. He does manage to knock him there. And he's just chaining him down. He's trying to prevent the snipe on Zoid, and he does manage to take him down in time. So it's coming in here. He's still got about five seconds. He should respawn by now, but... We'll see if it's too little too late. Uh, Kevin did manage to make a grab, but didn't get very far. Zoid, on the other hand, did, does pick up the flag, down to about 155. Snipe comes in, misses. He's down to 43 from the chain gun fire. Is making it all the way back to the stand. Kalar has picked up his flag. Kalar just either chucks the flag or got Nitron. I couldn't see which. And the flag is bouncing around the field. Zoid is only at 43 health. If someone comes in and says peekaboo, he's going down. He does toss it off to Blinks. No one's there to return the flag. What the heck are they doing? Come on, someone, get that. There we go. There's the return. And... There's the 2-1 to one quick cap by Area 51. Good play by them there. A little bit of slack in there. I mean, the flag was right there, and no one was grabbing it. Uh, sorry, returning it. And uh, fortunately for them, it didn't cost them. But uh, 
keep an eye out for that in the future, because if they keep making those little mistakes, I expect Icarus to capitalize eventually. We do see Zoid's going to be setting up for the same route, so we're probably going to see Brick dealing with the Sniper again. It looks like they're saying, okay, well, you know what? Zoid can go out with less health. Um, he just needs to roughly get to midfield, so they're going to take care of the Sniper and make sure he gets the grab, and that seems to be the key right now. So we're going to watch him here. Um, Zepto is, has changed positions. He's hiding around the vehicle pad now. Didn't get a shot off on Zoid yet. Oh, and there comes Brick in for the good interruption. Zoid is only down to 705 health. That's great. And he does manage to get a very good grab off. Going about 250. He's already past the halfway. He's up to about 500 health. And it looks like he's going to make it back. And yes, he will in time. That's a 3-1. to one. Kevin was going to be trying to come in, but either missed his route or suicided for some reason or another. So that was a no-show and a no-go on that one. Uh, but the offense was the real key behind that one. The flag stand was completely clear. We only saw Elixir there, who was at very low health when Zoid was coming in for his grab. And Elixir was all the way back here, so there was no way he was going to be able to shoot Zoid and, and let him take any damage. So, well played by the clearing. Um, it was a very good showing. They made sure everyone was gone. You see Brick there doing what he does, taking out Zepto. Uh, making sure that everything's clear for Zoid so he can get in, get out, and as long as their defense does their job, well, then they're in good shape. Oh, Kevin there, making a little bit of a grab, doing a side-to-side -side route. You don't see those often, but because Area 51 is not running a Hoth, they can afford to do it. He is down to 344. Oh, great snipe by Tailspin. Down to 23 health. Down he goes. Uh, Vash Erix is there to try and make a return attempt. He is going to get it. Yes, he is. Wow, it's a little surprising that... Uh, that Icarus would let the flag get returned so close to their flag stand, it was right underneath it. Uh, you would have thought that picking up that flag would have been really important, as Blinks just decides to end it all right there and then. Life isn't worth living for Blinks, so he's going to kill out and go back to his base, where he's got happier smiles and fortune cookies and all this other stuff. <clears throat> uh, Reddish Blue is still staying here. He's a little bit early to the party, though. Zoid's not even close by. Vector, in the meantime, does make a grab and then... No longer makes a grab because he's dead. And so this will be returned by Vash Eric's there. Uh, I wish I could have caught that, but unfortunately I was busy having fun over at this base. Uh, Reddish Blue was there but then died, and he was in there honestly too early as Zoid's just coming in now and Reddish Blue's not there. The defense had time to respawn and set up again, so they need to do a little bit more coordinated offense there. Um, poor Brick, just trying to stay alive, running around his infiltrator. He's got to find a place to hide so that no one will... No one will take him out. You see Mobby is looking for him a little bit, but he is going to go back and defend the stand. Vash, Eryx, and Reddish Boo are coming in now to start the distraction. I don't see Zoid yet. Let's see if we can find him really quick. Mm, no, Gabe doesn't want to... There he is, all the way over there. But anyway, Vector did come in here. Does get hit by Titan. He is down to about 69 health. Oh, what a snipe by Tailspin. Oh my gosh, that is so unlucky for Icarus. The flag got stuck up in the aqueducts, and that's going to kill any momentum they may have had. It's going to take forever and a year to get up there. Brick is going to be the first one, and that'll do that. But they do have someone on the stand ready for that chain grab. It does look like they might be going for a little bit of a punt strategy here. There we go. There's the punt, and he punts it right into the aqueducts. Zoid, on the other hand, does a little bit more of a punt right into the aqueducts, which conveniently lands on Bricks, uh, and both flags do promptly get returned as Bricks did go down. He didn't have much health left. It was a hilarious uh, fall. I'm surprised Bricks managed to get that, but uh, both teams having problems with this Aqueduct, so Aqueduct for MVP of this map so far. Kevin did do a front-to-back. Uh, it looks like he was setting up for an E-grab and just decided to go through with it anyway, uh, which normally Tailspin would punish, but looked to be a little preoccupied here, so Kevin is getting away with 510 health. Eh, not great speed, 220, but it's enough to make him back to his base. He takes a big chunk of fall damage there. A little bit sloppy, but he is getting in there, and there's no one really there to E-grab. And that was a surprisingly easy cap for Icarus, making the score 3-2. to two. <clears throat> Still in favor of Area 51, but a lot closer now. Whew. So, um, it's been a fairly fast-paced uh, map, as Vector decides to show me why. Makes another grab there, but gets chained down and sniped down really quickly. That flag is going nowhere. Reddish Blue comes in, makes an easy return. Ecos was there, but Reddish Blue just simply got there first. Uh, Kevin decided that Blinks was actually on his team and just tossed it right to him. So, you know, that's one way to do it. Make them think you're on your team. Unfortunately, it didn't work in this case. 
Uh, Killar is there for the chain, though. D looks like he got nitroned, or he tried to do a side punt, which really isn't recommended because it's very hard to pull off. Misses his own punt. Zoid is coming in here for the flag. There's some really good clearing. Zoid is getting out. Oh, you stupid camera. Zoid is getting out very well, cleanly. He's got about 430 health. Uh, speed slowed down a lot, but that was a great grab. Great clearing again. Perfectly in time. He hits the side, and Vector makes a clutch e-grab. Wow. That was impressive. If Zoid had not hit the side of the wall, he would have managed to get that cap off, but Vector instead takes advantage of the fact that he did hit it and gets all the way back to his base. However, Brick and Reddish Blue are there waiting, and this will be returned. So we're going to watch on the other side there. Oh, he ran behind his base, and that will also be a return as he goes down. There was only one teammate there to help him, and they just mowed him down. I think there were two, maybe three enemies. Blinks there, though, was ready for the chain grab. Does get it and punts it off a little bit earlier than I would like to see. They're doing this a lot recently. They're punting much too early. He had a lot of health left, and that's going to be a free return because no one was actually set up and ready. And so we're going to go back to the standoff. Uh, we can see that the generators are down for Team Icarus, uh, but Area 51 only has one turret up, so it's not that big of a deal. Vector coming in there with a nice little side, backside grab. Uh, uses a nice deflection off the base to get back to his base. He's at about 150 health. He's being chained down fast, but he is going to make it to his flag. Yes, he is. Uh, a little bit sloppy there from the Area 51 defense, letting him get out so cleanly. And then letting him get by uh, all their offense. They had a good amount of people there at the offense. They just simply weren't hitting the shots. Uh, one more shot, honestly, would have done it. He would have gone down, but hey, that's drives. So let's take a look here. Uh, Zoid is setting up for a route. He is opting for the second variation of his back-to-front route. Uh, he should be in in about 10 seconds or so, maybe a bit less. There's not really any clearing going on now. They did seem to be waiting, which is good. They need to crash the sand and crash it heavily now because Zoid is coming in. Uh, no one took care of Elixir, but Elixir missed the body block. Zoid gets out. Doesn't have great speed, but the snipes are not hitting, so... 750 health. Uh, Vector tr had a great speed there. Did get Nitron, though, so he's not going anywhere. Zoid is not quite ready for the return. He could not make it up. Uh, you do see there, Ecos did manage to take down Blinks. Ecos is owning it. Kilar is also there. They need the return now. Uh, and he barely gets over it. Nicely used to the thrust pack there to finish off that cap. It's now 4-3 to three in favor of Area 51. Uh, this is probably the first map that will not go to either an overtime or end-of-game clock, uh, because there's only one more cap needed for Area 51, and a good 12 and a half minutes left to go. Another intense, fast-paced one, because the flag caps on this map are incredibly quick. It's all up to the defense for to do preventative measures. They can't rely on their snipers all the time. As Vector manages to get a grab off, and we're seeing now it's currently the clock's at 14. He's already halfway... And it took him about four seconds, five seconds, to make it all the way back to his flag. He did go down there at the end to a clutch snipe from Tailspin. Blinks is coming in here for the return. The flag does get popped, unfortunately, so he's not going to be able to get it. Chuck's a Nitron. He maybe should have just gone for the flag there. I don't know if that was a great idea um, about what he did. Titan does manage to pick it up. He's chucking it off to Brick there. And Brick is going to see if he can chuck it off to Zoid. Zoid needs to stop, turn around. He does. He picks it up, and they're going to keep this chain going. In the meantime, their flag was grabbed. He punts it much too early to absolutely no one. He's probably going to end up picking up his own punt. No, Vector swoops in to take it away from him. Uh, I don't know why he punted that early. That uh, would not have been my first choice, I must say. I much would have preferred to see him keep going a little bit more until he lowered in health and then uh, chuck the flag off there. I mean, you know, sometimes you can die to something unexpected, but no one was there for that punt, and he needed to buy his team a couple, couple more seconds. Uh, so anyway, we are at a 4-4 four four now because of that uh, previous little routine where uh, Blinks uh, missed the return because of a great pop. Um, and so one cap for either team, and we're going to have a finished game. Kevin here does do a, another front-to-back. It's uh, interesting. I mean, it worked for them last time he did it, so why not try it again? Um, I believe Tailspin's the answer to why you don't do that again. He is down to 10 health already. Anyone can kill him now. All you need to do is look at him. And Tailspin's looking. He's looking hard. He doesn't see him quite yet. And Titan's coming in here, just a little bit of chain gun fire is expected he's coming here. Oh, he, yep, there's Tailspin, giving him his friendly greeting. Zoid, on the other hand, does get a great grab off. He is almost all the way back to his base. There's the return. This is going to be GG right here, unless Ecos can stop it. Oh, Zoid hits the side again. Ecos gets the flag off the stand, chucks it into the midfield. There is no one there, but there we go. Brick did manage to pick up the flag from Zoid. 
was standing on the flag, and they managed to get the cap. So well done, Area 51. You made it a lot closer and more interesting than it needed to be, but it was fairly amusing, nonetheless. Um, Zoid, you need to miss the side of that, uh, miss the side of the building. Um, I know it likes you, but uh, it almost cost you that cap there at the end, so... Yeah. Uh, looks like we are going to be moving on to 8s for the next map. Uh, the 7s series was a best of 3. Area 51 does take it 2-1, to one, winning out on Katabatic and Arx Novena. Uh, Icarus took the map Dry Dock, and so overall, Area 51 are your victors for this set, but it does look like we may be moving on to the set of 8s. I'm not sure how many maps it'll be, but I'll be sure to let you know on the next cast. So, as always, thank you for tuning in. I am Doc Lettuce. This has been the Yodelcast.